so far we have created this uh, affinity curve and uh, in this next step I am going to make it smooth and uh, well you could find this command over here and this uh, join healing toolbar click here click on this affinity curve and uh, here you will get some parameters curve smooth definitions and uh, here we have selected this affinity to get a better quality curvature continuity you have to select this option then preview then ok of course uh, I have created uh, this smooth curve so the parameters uh, here uh, it's, uh, in, uh, default parameters I have used only I have selected this curvature continuity so in the next step I have used the smooth uh, sorry project I have projected this curve on this surface so now let us come to this project command you could find this command somewhere at this place project mm -hmm. and in toolbar uh, insert Reference project so click here need to click uh, sorry I did um, click the curve that you would like to project you want to project here you will get two options normal and along direction and uh, in my case I have selected this option along direction then support click the surface this is uh, the split pipe uh, is taken as a supporting surface and uh, direction right click uh, click on the Z component so this curve is projected on the surface anyway uh, this is the projected curve here you will get options like curvature also in this uh, you could get a curvature continuity curve So next, uh, come to the next step. Mm, here, uh, once again, I have used a smooth uh, option, curve smooth option. The parent is okay. This is the parent. Well, in uh, my last steps, I have already discussed about uh, the how to create this uh, sketch and uh, all about the dimensions necessary dimensions and inputs uh, if still you have not finished this step and uh, it's not an issue you could make a sketch now you can note the parameters well uh, this is the uh, so yeah So, and uh, this is the smooth curve, and and I have used the default parameters. Only I have selected this option curvature. Next, in the next step, I have used the project command once again. I projected this curve on the surface along this Z direction so I'd like to once again repeat this command and option is along direction this is the curve that I'm going to project and this is the surface on which this is this curve is going to be project direction is XY plane or else you could uh, select Z uh, components it will, it will give the same result and so this curve is projected so if you would like to uh, note 
note the parameters pause the video you could note it then we have created i've created point and this point so please now you know the way to creating the points it's very simple and you could get the command somewhere here point and on curve option you could find a lot of options in this uh, command in this dialog box but uh, in my case uh, i have uh, used the on curve this is the curve on which this uh, point is created and uh, starting point is this if it is not coming in your case this is as a starting point you could click here to toggle between both points next please note the parameter 3mm then I've created another point so this is the point this is the point 3 this is the point 4 and this point is created on project 2 so far we have created this curve project 2 so parameter is 5 mm and on curve you could note the parameters so in the next step i have created a spline 